How about a few do's and don'ts about caring for Grandma Silver? I like silver. I like setting a beautiful table. And I don't use it a lot, but when I do, I really want it to shine and be beautiful. And I also want to take care of it between those times when I'm not actually using it. You know, the problem with silver is that it can tarnish and you want to take that tarnish off before you use it. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm actually polishing up this silver wine cooler. You know, I think it's helpful to understand what causes silver to tarnish in the first place. You see, it's actually an oxidization that occurs with the silver metal itself with the atmosphere or coming in contact with something that's corrosive. Um, for instance, in, in climates such as mine, where there's a lot of humidity, that can actually accelerate the tarnishing of silver if it's not stored properly. The other thing is sulfur in the air. So if you live in a very um, congested urban area where there, there's a lot of uh, pollutants in the air, that can also accelerate tarnishing. And, and foods themselves, if you have silver trays and you're using anything that has sulfur in it, for instance, mayonnaise or eggs, um, that will tend to cause tarnishing or corrosion. So just take a look at this silver wine cooler top or the collar. Look at the difference in what I've just polished and the tarnish on the side of this thing. It's really quite amazing. I love to do this because it's so satisfying to see it shine again. Now to get this level of luster, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. The first thing with silver is to always do no harm. You want to be careful not to scratch it. So you want to make sure that the silver polish you use is really soft and creamy. Silver is a very soft metal, so you want to be really careful with it. So what I've done is I took a sponge and I washed this down with silver polish and then I just rinsed it off with water and wiped it down with a soft cotton towel and got all the moisture off of it. Then you can pick up some silver cloth and you can take the silver cloth and finish off the polishing job just by rubbing it down like this. And you want to make sure there's no moisture left because it'll leave little um, spots on the silver. Now, for those little hard to get to areas, what I like to do is take just a, a Q-tip and I'm not too much of a neat nick with my silver, but if you wanted to get in here and get into some of these little spaces, you would just apply the silver polish in some of those little crevices. But actually, the patina, the sort of the, the old quality of it, where you get some of that darkness in some of those crevices, actually gives it a soulful sort of look. So I don't try to clean it too much. One last tip, you never want to wash sterling silver with um, stainless steel because it can actually stain your sterling. And the other thing you want to do is um, you want to make sure you get all the moisture off of it. And you can actually store it in bags. I love these freezer bags. They just pour, push all the air out of it and then seal it across like that and it'll keep it shine for a long, long time. If you've enjoyed these tips on keeping your silver in tip-top shape, share them with a friend and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.